Hey right guys, Trophy Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 1 of One Tree Hill Season 3. Just woken up and I'm ready, I'm ready to jump straight in Season 3 because everyone's been saying this is obviously the best season of the entire show. Which, again, I'm excited for but it's so early in the show in the grand scheme of things I'm a bit sad that it's like the best season. It's like with T-Wolf the best season was over so quickly and then we were just kind of downhill from there really same with pretty little liars and a lot of other shows but i think the difference with this show is as long as the show and seasons after is still strong then there's not really much to worry about it's fine having your strongest season early in the show but for me i always personally prefer when a show kind of does that again breaking pads probably the best example where every season gets better and better but then i'm like lost is my favorite show of all time or one of my favorite shows of all time and that best season is like seasons one two and three so the, you know, it can be, it can go either way really, but I'm excited. Season 2 was really good. Again, don't think it was a strong season 1, but I think it was a very good season. And we had a few good cliffhangers there, like with Dan kind of sizzling away in the fires and Hayley coming back and Peyton's mum being there. We've got some interesting storylines uh, set up. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm actually very excited for this season. And it's 22 episodes, so pretty much the same length as the other two seasons. And hopefully you guys enjoy these reactions to season three. So if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new. Remember to subscribe as we're trying to do One Tree Hill. Well, I think, I don't know, but by the time this one's on YouTube, we might be doing two One Tree Hills a week because uh, Patreon having two a week at the moment. And honestly, by the time this one's on YouTube, then Patreon are probably like, <laughs> like over halfway through season four <laughs> as of as of recording this youtube are just about to finish season one of one tree hill so they're, they're pretty far behind so yeah well, i don't know i don't know we'll, we'll, they'll be on season four though basically so patreon will be down below in the description and one of the comments down below if you want to join us on there alongside my twitter and instagram but for now, episode one. Let's do this. The place blew up, so I don't know what this is. I knew it, there was an explosion. There was an explosion. Yeah, there it is. Wow. <laughs> Starting with a bang, literally, that's good. Hard for you, but I promise you, we'll be free soon. I know we will. It wasn't Nathan. They're trying to like make us think, oh, it could have been Nathan. No. Nah. What's going on? It's urgent. Father, we have to go now. Ah, good, good reunion. Good timing, Haley. Oh, just literally picking up from season two, it seems. Come on, let's get you on. Mm -mm. I can't be there alone. Does that no one knows? I don't think that our mum's back. Will you stay with me? Oh god, <laughs> it's like shit. <laughs> We're back here. She says she's my mother. My mom's dead, Luke. I was there in the hospital. I watched her die. Yeah, but it's a TV show, so did you actually watch her die or was it a fake? I did something tonight, maybe. No, no, it was not Lucas. And I can't take it back. It was not Lucas, surely not. She just told you her mom's back and you were like, oh, I did something. <laughs> Yeah, good segue, mate. Are they gonna bring out Dan's crispy corpse? Oh no, here it comes. It's fine. It's fine. They're not gonna kill off Dan, come on. Yeah. Yes, my hero. Three months later! Oh, so we can get brought back. Okay. Oh yeah, congrats to Sophia Bush, by the way. She literally just got engaged um, yesterday as of recording this. Like maybe you can tell me you love me or something. <laughs> Hi, honey. Uh, uh, Karen, Karen's hair looks way better. Welcome home, man. I know mine's just a bit like, oh, I've woken up kind of hair, but Karen's hair looks kind of good. Oh, Paige, everyone's changed their bloody hair. Brooke's hair, Payton's hair, Karen's hair. I knew you couldn't go on and tie Brooke's on. Uh. Went to the airport this morning to pick up my mom and proved I was Brooke. What are you going to tell her? Wait, what? Oh, Dan's just back. Okay, cool. Dan's fine. You're not doing this again. 
You know what the doctor said? Getting agitated is just going to make your burns itch. Look at chimpanzee. Might bring back some bad memories. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Look at this horror film! My arm was on fire. What the? This is creepy. The edge of an inferno. Everything in between is black. Uh, so someone dragged him out then. Someone dragged him out. He didn't just fly out, did he? So. Oh, we're gonna get flashbacks. Hey, Sweet. Thank God. Not that big a deal then. I'm good. Listen, uh, there's, there's no more apartment, and I put all your stuff in storage. So that spend the night in the guest room. If you want. That's it. Cool. You know, I don't blame him. Go, go do high flyers. She fucks off to do her thing. For like a whole season. I'm still leaving tomorrow. Unlike you, I'm taking my heart with me. Oh! <laughs> that was that was kind of real. They're very nice. Where did you get them? The neighbor's yard. Mm. I can't believe you cheated on Sophia Bush. That's such a. I don't even know. I don't know why. Why? <laughs> we we don't know what was going on in their personal lives, but. Oh, Sophia Bush. How you been? It must be so strange because I know the re I think I've said this before, but because they're rewatching it and for the podcast, it must be so strange to see her like and her literal ex <laughs> like kissing on the screen again and when they kind of fell in love, I guess. It must be very weird. But we also date other people. Uh, well one of those people is Peyton. I missed you, Lucas Scott. I missed you too, pretty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just say broke, please. So do you leave for a couple months, crazy moms start showing up, and there's all these things you don't know. He's hiding something because he was like, oh, we need to tell Brooke. I'm guessing him and Peyton either kissed or more. Either you say too much, or like me with Jake, you don't say enough, and then they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about you. Oh, Jake wasn't in the intro credits, so not a good sign. Okay, uh, six, four, seven. What's that mean? Honey, look. You said you wanted to talk about it face to face. That ain't a dad! This is from my mother. Hey! Your mom is gone, Peyton. You know that. What the fuck? That ain't a dad, fuck off. Your biological mother is alive. Okay. Right. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Okay. I guess he didn't tell her that. It wasn't his actual, her actual mum. Okay, that's a bit, I think that's better than her mum's alive from the grave. I like that, actually. It's still a bit ridiculous, like, it was something that just wasn't mentioned to her in her entire life. We only met Ellie. Did you see that grave wobbling? We asked that she not make contact with you unless you requested it. No, okay, then she was adopted, full on. You know, sometimes it's hard for me to look at you without seeing your mum. You got so much from her in such a short time. Right, full on adopted, never mind. I thought maybe that was her actual dad, so. Oh wait, they're actually back in this apartment, okay. Besides, what's the difference? If you turn the lights out, it's all the same darkness, right? <laughs> what about the day you signed the annulment papers? The papers that you initiated? Yeah, after I drove a thousand miles to see you and you didn't a even thousand. call me after I left. You called our answering machine, Haley. Because I knew that you were gonna hang up on me anyway, so I had to leave a message. Well, I didn't even play it. I deleted you. Oh, yeah. I deleted you. And I can't take that back. I wish that I could. Yeah, they're gonna have to do a lot of groveling with Haley, aren't they? <laughs> Let's be honest. You might be staying, but you're not staying here. I just rented this place. For me. So this apartment's just always up for sale, is it, apparently? So it's kind of like with Felix. God, no. Literally. Felix was a physical thing? Oh, okay, yeah. I guess she didn't really want to date. Felix, she literally just wanted to sleep with him. So, but then she did date him, <laughs> so it's contradictory. I felt larger than life when I was with Eric. Is Eric a dad? I'd give anything to have that back. No! <laughs> broke up? I don't know, I thought they were together for one app. Is he gonna go back to loving Brooke? Come on. David? The fuck's David? It's only mouth, David. Could get the couch. Well, he's going to carry the couch by himself. First thing we have to do is cover up Nathan's hideous pain stain. 
I say you leave it. No, we're not leaving that, please. Leave it? Haley's no. Here. She can't be looking at that. My problem is with anybody who just vanishes and then waltzes back in and expects to be instantly forgiven. And your problem is you're not going to have anybody help you paint this place if you keep telling me what my problem is. Well, Pay, give him rest! Sorry. Yeah, that was a bit much. You literally are. It is about your mum. Just be honest. Everything you said then was you describing your mum. Also, oh, told me on Patreon they tear this place down after they finish filming. How good is that? Hey. Oh, he hasn't had one in three okay. months. And she loved you with all her heart. So that's bad. Where is the other people? She doesn't change who your mom was. Ooh, Larry over here. New Larry. What happened to old Larry then? Did he have to like not want to be in it or he pass away or something? Well, Lucas said it was what? different. What the fuck? That's horrific! If I saw that at 180 out the calf. Hey, can I go get a decent cup of joe around here? Oh, one cup of song joe. Oh, Mr. Kiddo. Wait, this place is way different. I mean coffee myself. I asked Haley to come back to the cafe if it's okay with you. Oh, of course. Love this looks like the bar they had for Deb's den, wherever it was. Like, di different visually, but cell wise. I don't know. It was completely different. I have my first performance right here, just for Nathan. Uh... I remember that. For well, the lava lamps. <laughs> Bro. Are you awake? <laughs> it looks very awake. Talk to me, please. Oh, is it forever? <laughs> I love these cheesy lines I do in the serve, so cheesy. It's a cheesy show anyway, but my lord. Nathan, please, I just Oh <laughs> jeez, <laughs> she's slugged up there. Well, he does love you. But... Isn't forever. You know, she's tried to leave like three times. I just can't trust you. <sighs> yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. That's gonna take a bit of time to rebuild. She has only just come back in this timeline. Well done, get a job. But I guess at a certain point, the fire burns out. And all you're left with is scars. Can't say it. <laughs> I think I'll go for a walk. So when you're done here, bring your stuff to the apartment. Why? Haley and Brooke know. living together. Mm. What the fuck? I look hot. You don't get crabs at a shelter. Yeah. It works for me. She's been staying at a shelter. Did Lucas not just be like, yeah, stay with me? <laughs> you did yours last spring, and mine actually looks good. Hey. Plus... I don't know, I kind of like, I like painting with curls, it's kind of her iconic. Weird emails, stop coming. Maybe she wasn't even a bomb, she just said that for bands or something. She's back. Oh. I love you. Yeah. Uh, did he sign it? That's jokes. Okay, you could have you got rid of the, the bit that's kind of outside of the frame. Come on in, roommate. Oh, that was not kind of like, yeah, we'll move on. <laughs> but, you know, not forgetting about it either. That's cool. What plot is he up to now? Here we go. Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. I'm Dan. And it was Keith. Keith still. drugged me and left me for dead. <laughs> to me and I will find out soon. Oh, he doesn't know. Okay. The sins I commit then could turn this place to rubble. The sins I commit will turn this place to rubble. <laughs> oh, man. So when are we going to get to that kiss part anyway? Um, I'd say right about now if you know what's good for you. Yeah, that's, that's completely fair. That's fair. So did his Lucas eyebrow raise. <laughs> I 
Ha! Of course. Do you think that photo maybe exists somewhere in the world? I know they probably actually did not take photograph, but it's a number. I know it's a, <laughs> obviously, but. Well, is that many people there are in the world? I don't think so. <laughs> At this moment, there are 6,470,818,671 people in the world. Mad. So let's see how much that's changed since. Now there's 7.8 billion. Seven point eight billion. Not it does say it's not growing that much, but it has only been like what, twenty years? Not even. <laughs> Everything you got here is this. And some are good, struggling with evil. No. No. I no, I don't think that's Lucas. I think he just got a hold of that. I don't think that they would have done the reveal like that. Six billion souls. Actually, when you think about it, that's mad. We've basically gone up and two billion in fifteen years. All you need is one. Yeah, zooming on the one. Good way to end it. That's honestly the exact number she had kind of written down because. That is a wild number. Yeah, 6.4 billion. So we have got up 2 billion, but we've got up basically 1.5 billion in 15 years. That is wild. That is mad. Deaths this year. But how do, how do people keep, how does the internet know this? How does the internet know exactly how many... you you got to think... It, well, it's definitely an estimation. There's no way it's not that accurate, but... It's like, I'm on a website. Literally, if you just put in world population and then go on the first thing, it has a number that is live that's, like, going down and up. Like, so, someone's died. 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 Dead. 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 This isn't exaggerated literally every second. Dead. 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 I know it had a bit of a break there. We had two seconds there where someone didn't die. Dead. 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 <laughs> Deaths today. Births today. Births. 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 Births even quicker. Births are like that. And then deaths are like kind of a bit more steady. So this, uh, for me, the population's going up before my eyes. I can't believe it. Yeah, I think I think it was a good start to the season. I won't say it was quite fantastic or anything, um, but I enjoyed it. I'm excited for these storylines. I'm excited for this season. Songs were good here as well. I like the whole uh, flashback side of things. I think that worked well with it, well with it as well. So I'm going to go a seven point four out of ten. Good start to the season. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and join. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And if you do want the early and uncle reactions to One Tree Hill. Then link the Patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below. Like I said, by the time this one is on YouTube, Patreon will be a few episodes into season four for sure. And it'll be alongside my Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow me on either of those. And I'll see you next time for episode two. Until then, take care. Peace.